All right, my phone died. I was snapping. Spirit was moving. We gonna get back to it though. I'm, I I want to get to my conclusion to my point because I I I figured out something, and what I want to challenge us to do is to not <clears throat> let's not talk disrespectful, no subliminals, no nothing about nobody else, no other race, ethnicity, culture, nothing. Let's not do nothing, but let's just go positive on us. Let's just go facts and positive on us. This is not about any other race or ethnic group or religious group of people. It's only about us. And shout out to Minister Farrakhan, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for his words and speech tonight. I just want to give you his, his little baby brother, Jay Morrison's words on all situations. It's only about us. It ain't about nobody else. The facts are the whole world wants to hide from us and stamp that we all know the original people of the planet were black people scientifically and biblically. These are facts. It is a fact the Bible, the Torah, the Torah says that Adam was in Ethiopia. Ethiopia was down the Niger River or Euphrates River, which landed in Cush. Cush was Ethiopia. Adam was made in Ethiopia a black man in God's image. So what's that make God? This is all they want to keep from us, family. It's not about nobody else. It's only about us. The layman's term is if you look scientifically from skulls they found, the oldest skulls and art in artifacts, of human remains in the world were in Africa, historically, scientifically, the oldest remains of a human being were in Africa. That means they were black. They couldn't have been peach. They couldn't have been white, yellow, or anything else. It is a proven fact that the original man and woman of the world were black African people, biblically or historically. That means every other race and origin came from us. These are facts. And the whole world wants to hide it so we don't raise to our highest frequency. Everyone came from us. And I got white great friends. I love them dearly. But the fact is of human lineage, everyone still came from us. It's cool. Everybody got their place. Everybody got their time in history. Right now we in last place. But it is a fact that at one time we were in first place and everybody came from us. So, yo, everybody got their time. It's not a knock on nobody else to say who we are. We're the original people of the planet. We are Abraham's seed. We are Abraham's seed. Abraham came from Ethiopia. His descendant Noah, his descendant Adam, that seed. Abraham then had Isaac, that seed. Isaac then had Jacob, that seed. Jacob was named by God, Israel, a.k.a. He had 12 seeds, 12 sons, 12 tribes of Israel. They were black men from black seed. The original Hebrews, the original Afro-Asiatic Semites, Jewish people, were black people. It's just a fact. That's all. It's just a fact. Like, nobody got to argue. We ain't got to debate. We ain't got to beef. Nobody got to be similar. Anybody got to be anti-nothing. Let's just be pro-truth. The fact of the matter in the whole entire world, when we went to Sunday school, and Noah and Adam and Samson with the seven locks, the Bible describes Samson having seven locks, not stringy hair. The Bible says Samson had seven locks in Ethiopia. Samson was a black man. Jesus had burnt bronze skin. Jesus, the Messiah, Yeshua, had burnt bronze skin and woolly hair. He was a black man. The whole Bible, the whole Torah described black men. So when a ball player or a rapper or a, 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 a real estate guy, an activist says, the first Jews, the first Hebrews, like we're the first Semites. We are the Semites. That's our lineage. It's like, yo, it's the truth. It's not like a diss at nobody. It's just the truth. The first of that, the whole Torah, the whole Bible described us. What are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? I don't get it. Why are we arguing? 
Like, I know current day Iraq and current day Egypt and current day all that looks a lot lighter. I get it. Yeah, that's, that's Roman, Greek influence, Turkish influence, Russian influence. I get it. That's all of that. That's the influence over time. But the original Hebrew and original Israel, original Canaanites, original Iraqis, original Ethiopians, and original all that were burnt bronze skin. They were black with dreads. Like Samson with the seven locks. Adam, who was made in Ethiopia. Like, yo, this is what we got to know. Let's stop making it about everybody else. I'm talking to, to, to my, my, my seed, my kin. I know all of us don't have the same values, the same morals, but we got to align around three principles, in my opinion, in my contention. We need to align around. I want to unify with melanated people, black people. I don't, all black people aren't my tribe. All black people aren't the tribe of Israel. They're not God's children. They're not acting as God's children. So, um, but those who align around loving God with all their heart, loving themselves and working on loving themselves and loving thy brother like thyself, I rock with them kind of, any kind of folk. Black, white, Asian, yellow, brown, purple, I don't, matter, I don't care. If you love God with all your heart, you love yourself and you love me like you love yourself. Now, if you don't love yourself, I don't want you to love me how you love you. If you don't love yourself. I don't care what race you are. Don't love me how you love you if you hate yourself. You're not patient with yourself. You don't have grace for yourself. You don't love yourself. See, loving your brother like your neighbor works if you actually love yourself. So I want you to love God with all your heart. I want you to love yourself and then love me how you love yourself. And I'm going to love you how I love me. I want to vibe and connect with them kind of people who want that kind of energy and who understand who we are. I don't even got to be negative about nothing. But I can stand like, 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 it is time for, it is time for truth. And it is a mass awakening of truth because our, our history has been hidden or suppressed. Like they tell world history, like the fact that like when I was in Sunday school, Noah's Ark was like a peach guy and like all the Bible characters were like, didn't look like us and didn't look like who the Bible described him to be. That's like blasphemy. Like you literally taught like, whole lessons that aren't described the way they're actually described from the book that the lessons come from. It don't even make like, it don't even make sense. But the point is, it's not even, um, it is a bragging right. It is something to be proud of. It's, that's the whole point. If you found out you were the original people of the Bible, the chosen people of God, made in his image, shouldn't we be proud and loud? That's amazing. That we got the father of all civilization? That's amazing. Why do we got to be quiet about the historical facts of our position on the earth? I'm not knocking nobody. I'm not saying nothing bad about anybody else to say who I am and who we are. I come from the lineage of DNA of the first people on the planet. The first people to civilize the planet. The first people of, of Abraham's seed, of Adam's seed. Like, I come from that. I right, cool. I'm not knocking you. You, you came when you came. You got your journey, your history. You at where you at. We are who we are. Don't try to tell me I'm something other than who I actually am. Or claim that you're, you are who I actually am. The people of the Bible, the people of the Torah, the first people of the planet were black people. Period. The Bible proves it. I read, look at it. I got the word right here. I read the Bible every single day. Every single day. He was only one verse. From, a, from from five chapters to one chapter to one verse to seven verse, whatever the Spirit put on me, whatever I, I can stand. I read the word every single day. I'm reading it, and it's describing black men. The Torah, the first five chapters of the Bible, that's the Torah. And it's only describing black men. And scientific evidence only describes black men in Africa as of original people and original skulls and artifacts found. Like, what are we talking about? The pictures on Egyptian walls, they weren't light, light Egyptian uh, pharaohs, they were dark skinned Egyptian pharaohs. What are we talking about? This is not even like this ain't debatable. This, this is like actual, actual facts. So, all right, God said, I'm gonna make man in my image, and he was a black man. Uh, he said, The father said that. I didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't make it. I can probably find it right here. It's literally in here. 
in the word. So like, uh, what am I to do? So we got to be proud of who we are, honestly. And then a lot of us, we shall say, they shall say, oh, it's a white man's religion. No, bro, it's not a white man's religion. Christianity is not a white man's religion. Well, Christianity, maybe. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about relationship. I'm talking about our relationship with the Father. And the instructions and commandments he gave us as his original people. I don't want to, don't even got to bottle it up. There's no religion. This word right here, this Bible right here, this word. Yeah, that's our word. It only describes black people. It's not a white man's religion. It's not white men reflected in the Bible. The Bible reflects black people and their values and their covenants. Love God with all your heart. Love yourself. Love your neighbor like yourself. Like, what are you talking about? These are values. So think about it. If Forget religion right now. Don't get hung up on your religion. But if we actually follow the principles of submitting to God, loving God, being obedient to that unction, that something in our head, that word, that spirit in our heart, and we all like fought to be more obedient and be more like in tune with God. And loving God with all our heart. If we all did that, however you see God. And then you loved yourself. And then loved your neighbor like yourself. So you deal with, we deal with each other differently. We have repair. Like, they, this literally... I can't say nobody stole our word. But I'm going to tell you that the truth has been hijacked. The Bible describes black people. These are laws, rules, customs for us. To live better by so we're not so savage. Don't y'all understand we call each other savage and demon and ratchet? Don't y'all understand that we were God's first people made in his image? He don't want us to be savage and demon and ratchet. That's not for us. It's not like laws to be mean. Yo, it's a code so we like the best version of ourselves. So we most like in the image we were made in. It's not like to be mean, like, yo, follow these rules and principles. Like, treat, so, treat your neighbor like yourself. Like, yo, don't do people wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's a good thing. These are good, these are good principles in here describing black people. I'm not saying a religion. I don't, I don't, I'm not with no denomination or no religion. I just got a relationship, a strong relationship. And I can listen to any religion and pull out the relationship in it because it's all... Islam, Judaism, Christianity, they all come from the father Abraham. Abraham was a black man. All religions, the father of all religions, Abraham. He was a black man. So no matter how you dice it and slice it, brother, it's the same word, the same book describing black men. Know who you are. We the ones. And if we, don't, if we don't see who we are, other people can unlock our magic. Because we're, we're not following the script to unlock our magic. We think this book is about somebody else and it's a white man's religion, but the whole book talks about black men. The Messiah is a black man. How are you going to say it's a white man's religion, but the Messiah, the biggest hero in the book, was burnt bronze skin and wool hair? How is it a white man's religion, bro? <laughs> if, the, if the hero of the whole book, the word made flesh, was actually a black man, how is it a white man's book, bro? No. They just ain't tell us the context. They left out the context that, oh, this is about y'all. They just ain't tell us that. And we ain't read and comprehend. Oh, wait, Adam, Ethiopia? Wait, Ethiopia's black. Oh, snap. Adam was black. Kush was Kush. Oh, Kush is Ethiopia? By the Euphrates River where it splits in four? Oh, snap. I didn't even know that. Wait, wait. Adam was in Africa. So, wait. The picture I see of Adam and Eve in the garden with the light Adam and Eve? Oh, that wasn't how Adam and Eve actually looked. Adam and Eve was actually burnt black. Made from mud. Made from clay. Oh, snap. Okay. Adam was black. So then what was Adam's son? Oh, he was black. Oh, snap. Oh, that was Ethiopia. Jesus, burnt bronze skin? Bro, burnt bronze skin? Or skin of brass? Like, think with a, well, uh, have some comprehension. Samson, seven locks? Yo, who you know got locks? Half the NFL. It's like Samson with seven locks. He's a black man. 
This whole, yo, this whole script, this whole code, whole frequency is for us. The whole frequency is whole, it's a code. It's a code in here. They made us hate the Bible. It made this religion around the Bible that made us taint the Bible, make us think it was something other than it was. The Sunday school books made us think the Bible was white, but the Bible's not white. It's actually a black person's book that anyone can convert and follow, whether it be the Torah or the Bible, Christianity or Judaism or the uh, foundations of Islam that come from this book. Yo, don't, it's, it's, it's realizing whether you want to go scientific or you want to go biblical, which you should go biblical. But realizing that the, the literal powers that be, they want to remain a mass truth that the world started with other than what it actually started with. You want those images of Adam and Eve to be this European man and European woman in the garden. Adam and Eve wasn't a European man and European woman in the garden. And Abraham wasn't a European man either. Neither was Israel. It wasn't European. It was, it was African. It was Ethiopian, African, black. So imagine if we all saw the world that way. Imagine the whole world saw us in that way. Like, oh, snap. Like, oh, they the ones? Oh, we should treat them different. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Adam and Eve was actually looking like Jay and Ernestine with a tan? Like, oh, snap. Like, wait, whoa, Samson has seven locks like, my, like, like my, my, my cousin Kiki? Oh, snap. Like, wait, what's going on here? Wait, Jesus was burnt blonde like a black man? Imagine if we seen the whole context. Imagine if every Catholic church seen the Bible for how it actually was. Characters of black people. Imagine if every Roman Catholic church seen the Bible. Imagine if every temple seen the Torah under the actual images of that the Torah actually represents. It, the Torah actually talks about black families and black people and black tribes and black kings. Saul, King Saul, black man. King Solomon, wise man of earth, black man. With them 700 wives and concubines, black man. King David, black man. Who sinned against God and got with Bathsheba. And murdered a guy, took some blood because he was too into the woman. King David, black man. King David C, Jesus, burnt bronze skin, black man. Bro, know, know our image. Don't let them steal our truth from us. Scientifically or historically, know how you want to look at it. So we're the first people on earth. And that, what does that say about everybody else that came from the darker skin? We can't, we, we have to just accept our truth and walk in the truth that we made in his image and stop, and stop being fooled that the actual word of God that's for us, about us, it literally, no, it literally reads about us. Be fooled that it's about somebody else. It's not. This is a history. This is genealogy. This is lineage. This is a, about our history, about our forefathers and how they moved. And what their relationship with God was like. It's not about no Europeans. Europeans aren't even in there. There's Africans in there. Ethiopia. Africans. The whole thing about us. But everybody just keeps it from us. That's what this whole truth is about. That's what this whole campaign is about. That's what King Kyrie was saying when he was like, yo, I can't be anti what I am. Like, what do you mean? Like the first Hebrews on earth, the first Jews on earth, the first... Tribes of Israel, they were black. It was a black tribe. It was black 12 sons. That became millions. They came from Egypt. They were enslaved in Egypt. They were black people. What are you talking about? It's Africa. Not the current day Egypt that got colonized by Greeks and Romans, but the old Egypt, the original African Egypt with the dark pharaoh colors all over the temple walls, with the black pharaohs all over the walls. Yeah, that Egypt with the big noses that they shot off. That Egypt, the black Egypt. The Bible was uh, uh, brothers of black Egyptians. Like, yo, the whole thing's about us. The whole thing. In our relationship with our father, our creator, the one who made us and gave us dominion over the whole earth. Imagine if we all woke up to that. 
Imagine every rapper, a ball player, and leader, an influencer, an entrepreneur, and working class person, person in the army, and everybody else gang banging in the streets, prison, whatever. Imagine we all woke up to that. Like, oh snap, that was really about us. Like all them books, all them all them images on the walls, white Jesus, peach person, Adam and Eve, all that, all that was wrong. Like all that was really us. Like it was really us though. Like you can prove it's us. I can bro, I can prove it's us. I read it. Prove it's us. It's, it's, it's historic. It's artifacts. Man. Now, nah, I only want to talk about, even though Revelation can make a reference, we don't know what Revelation was talking about. We ain't God. We don't know what Revelation was talking about. I ain't even, I'm not even putting no label on nobody. I only want to distract us to even make it about nobody else. It's only about us. Whoever y'all are, that's on y'all and y'all lineage. But who y'all not is us. So that's all. Who y'all not is the original people of the Bible. That's us. So I don't care who you are, but who you not is Samson with seven locks. You not brown, burnt bronze Jesus with woolly hair. Who you not is Adam who was made from mud and clay in Ethiopia. You not that. We that. You not that, fam. And that's okay. I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, like, like let's just not... Don't, you know, don't be my last name, be your own. Don't be my genealogy, you know, be your own. That's all. Like, well, we all come from God. We all God's children. We all come from the Father. What do you mean? Like, just like, you know, it just, let's not just remix history and remix God's word. Like, let's just not do that, though. It's our heritage, our lineage. It's our claim. It's our claim on this earth. Yup. We are the ones that are currently ratchet, savage, demon, in last place in wealth, uh, first place in prison, last place in education, last place in, in, in all of that, right? That's us. But we are, we also are, on our, on our comeback, we also are the original people on the planet, the first people on the planet Earth, the fathers and mothers of civilization, the original people of the Bible, the original people of the Torah, Abraham seed. That's us too. We might be, our team might be trash right now. We might be in last place right now. But we was dominating and balling. We had a dynasty in the beginning. I can tell you that and throughout. Cool. That's us. But we ain't going to pump fake and act like us ain't us. Black people is no diss to our, our white peers and friends, brothers and sisters, people we love that are other religions, ethnicities, Jewish, Asian, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, bourgeoisie, black people don't even matter. Like, yo, it, it's just, it's no, there's no other religion or nothing. It's just that it's proven, biblically and scientifically, we got to change our paradigm of who we are in the world by understanding that we really are the ones that was made in God's image. We really were the ones, the first ones on the planet. Like we were the ones, it, it wasn't like European cavemen. The cavemen, the first people on the planet, all cavemen. Imagine the Flintstones and the cavemen. Do you picture yourself, you picture a caveman? Like, no, nah, you don't picture yourself, you picture the one who like made fire and named the animals and had dominion over the whole earth. But yo, the person that had dominion over the whole earth named Adam, the original caveman, if you will, wasn't in the cave. He was in a, a, a garden. The caves came later. He was in Ethiopia and was the original one on the planet in Ethiopia. His seeds were Ethiopian and they were Abraham's seeds and they were Egyptian and Ethiopian, black Egyptian. So the, the, the verdict says this is like a DNA test. I might do a skit, like with a Maury Povich skit. Nah, it's not about Moorish. It's not about none of that. No, 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 no. You like, you, you, you stuck on religion and title. I'm talking about original people of the planet before there were Moors. Before there was even a thing Moors. I'm talking about being the original people of the planet. The ones described made in the creator's image in Africa. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Raise your frequency up. Come up with me. I'm not talking about, I'm using this word as context. I believe this to be God's word, but I'm not even here to argue that with you. You could believe Islam. You could believe Judaism. Cool. Pull a Torah. It's only the first five chapters of this. It don't matter. 
All I'm saying is that scientifically and historically, we were the original people on the planet. Shout out to Julian Gordon just joined. Peace, King. The original people on the planet. Factually, scientifically, and historically. So we got to change all images. All Flintstones, caveman, Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham, whatever images that don't reflect us. Because that's a, that's a lie. It's a false reflection. So you, can, you can't see yourself worth in context to who we really are in the world. We got to have our own self-worth as a reflection of understanding who we are, who we were made from, and all that we conquered, and all that we civilized. Those are real Ethiopian African people who we reflect. Boom, that part. So, that's it. I'm, um... And when people like with platforms come out, I had a video the other day that 500,000 views in two days and they took it down. I didn't say nothing bad in the whole video. I was like mad sensitive and like diplomatic. The video is going viral and they took it down and all it was saying is that we the ones. Not knocking, and Lily said, not knocking nobody else. I don't, I don't gotta knock nobody else. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Here to down nobody else because I don't want to buy it down me. I treat my I treat my neighbor like myself. I treat my brother like myself. Of any ethnicity. I treat people like myself. But you could be proud to be Italian, proud to be Russian, proud to be German, proud to be, you know, Jew, proud to be this, proud to be that. That's fine. I'm proud to be the one of the original people on the planet. Abraham C. That part. So, I don't know. That's my two cents. I want us to wake up, though. Level up. We the ones. I appreciate y'all. I'm out of here. I'm going to get my daughter.